guy promised the food. Can you tell he's a dairy farmer? Really piles the butter on, but everybody loves butter. He ain't gonna complain about that. Here we go, got the hammer bagger all set up, ready to go. Welcome back for another video. We're me grinding and bagging corn today. Yeah, I'm gonna sit on wheeling. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! Hang on, guy. Grandpa pushed you, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta breed a heifer quick and then, then hopefully the combines got a load ready for us. I guess we don't really know yet. set up and rolling. Now we're gonna get the inoculant put on here. I didn't want to be running this inoculant because it's pretty expensive when we didn't really know what we were doing but I think we got it figured out now. So we'll get that thrown up there. There. That's just to help it ferment. Help, ferment, help it ferment and then it uh, it uh, doesn't uh, heat and grow as much yeast and bad bacteria when you're feeding it out in the summertime. So, pretty neat setup. In here is a big hammer mill. So, pounding the kernels through these little tiny screens. There's, uh, it's actually dispine blades that are, um, inside there these are built by a, a private shop oh, they're not yeah it's a Mennonite shop over by uh, uh, Curtis that builds them not some major brand they do a really good job you got a little then you can check your how it's grinding back here So that looks pretty good to me. I don't know that we want to push it much more. I mean, once in a while you get a larger chunk like that. But other than that, stuff's pretty flowery. And that's what we want. Because cows, cows digest it better when it's flowery. They can take advantage of all the nutrients in it. They milk better, so. Yeah, that's what, that's what we got going on here. We're gonna keep plugging away. Oh, and you might have noticed that my hood is up on the tractor. Uh, that's because, you know, the little chunks of cob, or the little red flakes on the cob, this stuff, some people call them bees wings. That was plugging up my front screen and it, it just wasn't getting enough air. So, I got the air compressor in the back of the Kubota, so my plan is to just blow the radiator out uh, every few loads and just deal with it. Because uh, it runs pretty cool with the hood open, so if I can run it with the hood open and just blow it out once in a while, I guess that'll be better.
mangoes. We're right here by the bunkers. This should be some pretty nice corn. The worst of it's done. So we're only gonna get to better fields now, I think. Which will be nice. We still got a ways to go for what we need. Back at it. We're giving her. Combine's right up on top of the hill there. super nice because uh, I just got to pull the truck ahead every little bit and we're just putting her away going pretty good so far had a slow start combine broke down last night uh, so he had to go to the dealer and get some parts for that and he got them put on right away this morning he was rolling right around nine o'clock and uh we did an oil change on the massey quick because we were having some uh the uh, uh oil pressure was a little funky so uh thought it wouldn't hurt to change the oil i put a mechanical gauge on it and i i thought it looked good it was 40 pounds at a uh wool idle and 60, 65 even sometimes at a high idle um, when we were uh, grinding. So I don't think there's any major issues there. But I got that truck filled right up. So we're going to have to keep on grinding. While I'm grinding, I always hop in the tractor, take a look at the gauges, and make sure the temp is good and oil pressure is good. breakdown so just getting going again and to get that radiator going out on that on the tractor while we had the chance because all these stupid bee wings light fluffy crap clogging everything up so but we got the combine fixed and we got corn again Gotta get grinding. Got that field all cleaned off. Now we gotta start hauling again. Combine is headed over to another field. So, just gotta pick up another load and get back to grinding. I think this bag is pretty close to being done. There's 14 folds left, whatever that means. I don't know. I don't know what's all bags. I'm more of a bunker man. Just about 
all got this bag laid and uh, just starting to rain a little bit. So uh, hopefully we can finish. Clutch brake is a little out of adjustment on this one. Should probably put one in it, but haven't. And here comes Dad on the next load right there. We'll get him back down and get him dumping. Well, we're done bagging. We used every foot of her, and then some. We'll just dig this out and heat it up so we can seal this off. Hoof the. Usually they got a little warning on here, like way back here. But usually, last year anyway, I guess, last year was our first year bagging and both the bags we had last year had a little warning tape, so I was looking for that. Didn't see it. And then all of a sudden, it was just about off the uh, tunnel. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but Pretty good looking stuff, yeah. Raise the truck up quick. Oh, you guys probably can't see anything in here. Going up. That's pretty good enough. We're still just a giving her. Got the bag done, pushed to the silo. So, trying to get one field done that's gonna be hard to get through the rain. So, can't see them, but they're way up on the hill. Uh, just east of the farm here, so. Last little bit for the night's coming in. And then dump her in me quick and I'll get her blown up and we'll call her a day. There, all done. Filling for the night. Just gotta grab these pails. Fill them up. You gotta run the silo loader as you're filling it. Otherwise, since all motors on the bottom of the silo, uh, it could pinch and uh, you know, well, it won't work. And you gotta get some trained professionals to uh, get, go in there and get it working again. You can you can work on on them, uh, but I ain't crawling in there and working when there's freaking feet above me, but. Some people do. There, I got a couple pails filled. cover over here. Oh, come on. We're talking a chance of rain, so wanna try and keep the water off of that stuff. Corn is worth gold these days. Get the tractor shut off and we'll call her a day. So uh Thanks for watching along and we'll see you next time. Keep on uh, hitting that like button and subscribe and all that good stuff too. See ya.